Hi, I'm Caitlin. And I'm Lacey. And we're women in the trailer industry. Welcome back, guys. Uh, today we're going to be talking about inventory, all things inventory issues, the importance of counting your inventory, having inventory, or if not, knowing where you're getting your inventory from, especially today's market is crazy, um, stocking issues, um, processes. How do we how do we go about counting our inventory or uh, taking account for the inventory and then how does it go out? How does it come in? Um, and then um, pressure that you get from your boss if it's not right. Um, and so, yeah, let's just dive right in. And today I'm going to try not to say for sure as much. I got a short reel made about me, so I'm going to try not to do that. But I almost did it when you, you got a reel made about I know. you. Yes, that is I messed think I up. Did. So, yeah, you're like on every reel, so don't talk about it. <laughs> um, no, no, I mean saying for sure. I didn't know oh, that that was like what it focused on. I just caught on. the first of it, and I was like, <sighs> so I turned it off. Um, I say, and yeah, that, that's what I say a lot. And yeah, yeah, what? What are you saying y'all for? Well, you're the only one that talks on these things. According so. to some people, but. <laughs> so inventory, um, uh, as we digress down that rabbit hole. Yeah. So many rabbit holes. Yes. Inventory is for us been one of the hardest, um, obstacles that we've had to face. I feel. Yes. Um, it plays into a bunch of your accounting, your ledger, and then you transfer that over to the operations team, and then they kind of feel the pressure on that. Yeah. Our but not just, like, acquiring the inventory, knowing what to do when you have it to properly reflect on your books. I yes. think that's what you're trying to, like, get into. Uh, a lot of people don't get all that goes into that. Um, yes. We're still f- trying to work out the kinks. <laughs> For lack of better words. <laughs> yes. Every day, new policy, new procedure against inventory issues. But, you know, the biggest thing I think with our company is, you know, our high growth, our high package demand, how many packages we go out in a day. There's a bunch of yeah. moving parts. So you, we look to bigger players like Amazon um, and distribution centers and see how do they model it? How, yep. how do they ship things out? And most of them have a pick pack ship system, which... Space allowing, we'll get there one day. Yes, um, we're work, but, working to get there. Yeah, right now we have one person doing one order, so they handle each um, order with care, and then um, it ships out. But that doesn't leave room for quality control if they're shipping the right item um, and the quality of the item they're sending out. For sure, yeah. I mean, that's the packaging side of it, and I, I think, too. Um, with having high growth and a lot of moving parts, you get in a lot of, we have our catalog here, especially what we stock here. I mean, our catalog is massive, right? But what we stock here is also pretty big. Yes. So, and we like have 2000 when I just looked. Yeah. Two, 2000 SKUs. And then if, and then you have different brands of a certain product that you carry, um, whether it be a tiring wheel or, a uh, axle, um, so there's a lot of different things to, to consider as far as where you could have an issue in your inventory count. Um, does a so let's just get into like a, what does an inventory day look like for us? Um, a lot of companies I know they shut down everything and everybody is all hands on deck. We've just started to implement that, but it's kind of a big risk when you do that too because then you you're losing a day of sales. So yes. that's a give and take right there that we're trying to figure out. But I mean, tell us, walk us through what a, what would an inventory day look like for us? Well, first off, everyone comes in and moans and groans because yes. they don't want to be there. Everybody you know, hates like, it. <laughs> come on, free lunch and inventory <laughs> counting. Who doesn't like that? But, um, you know, we're really getting into making sure all the bins have SKUs, making sure everything is labeled. So, uh, last time we did inventory, we really distributed the sections between um, employees and like then groups, assigned yeah. each section to those. Um, what we ran into is some of the newer players didn't understand all the SKUs we had, and then um, they didn't get re- put in the right column. So when we did a import, all of the 
values were wacky basically. And, and it's so. frustrating because like you take a full day and you have to kind of account for those issues that can come along. But like you spend so much time counting and you have this spreadsheet that you're about to import to affect all of your future uh, orders that mm-hmm. go out and what reflects. And then whenever you find all these issues that come up, so like, I know we counted this, but it's not reflecting here. And mm-hmm. and then you're trying to backtrack and then you have negatives, which you weren't supposed to after inventory counts because right. those should have been zeros. And and it's, it's like, I feel like for the people who are working internally, for sure, it can be frustrating. And for the people who count, I mean, they spend a whole day counting. Yes. Um, and also on that same note, you... It, counting the inventory is so super important that that's not a slack off day. Like yeah, that's probably one sure. of your most important days. Like, and while everybody needs to be on that same page of understanding how important that is, because it's not a day just to come in and get free lunch and, you know, do your part. But if you don't know something, I'll just put a number in here. Like right. it can't work like that. And so my number one thing on that, that I think is going to help us is labeling. And if it's a skew that's like got all these random stuff that the average person isn't going to know, then we figure out something else to put on it. That's more indicative of what are descriptive of what that is. Yes. And I think if we get to that level, we're getting there, but that is so super important. But also, you know, I feel like we already put in place some good things like an interject wherever, <laughs> um, but I think it's really important that we like our, that we have moved to whenever a product is sold and it gets printed on, you have your shipping label and then you have your packing slip that the fulfillment team can see and those SKUs match up so that the, whatever you're labeled, that's what the only thing they can go to look for. Mm-hmm. And I go back to, if it's really kind of complicated, like a lot of different letters that they could miss, then you make some more description on that, on that label itself outside for everybody to see. Right. Two things for me on that is, you know, for our next inventory day, we're definitely going to have an internal team who's inside zeroing out all the product, manually inputting every single yeah. product. And yes, there will be some error with the manual input, but after the cluster, the last yes. input with the CSV import, um, I swore that I would never do that again. Well, think about it. <laughs> but the input, the import thing, it, it's it's like one of those things where it's like really good um, in theory. And if you have a good I don't even know how you would catch all for that because in my mind, I'm all like one-on-one, like one by one. So if somebody, if the internal team could be like, wait, I know we have this out there. Go back out yeah. there and look again. And, and what we ran into a lot is that not everything was counted. Um, so customs that I've run into that were received before the inventory yeah. count were not counted and put under, if they were, they weren't put under the correct SKU, which leaves me to question now what SKU is overcompensated at this right. point um, for six or so axles. So that's concerning, but... Those items that are that are totally a custom... We call them custom, but they really are a custom item. So it's mm-hmm. you don't have like a lot of... Um, 50 of this one type yes. it's every custom is different and so mm-hmm. it's hard to count you have to be very accurate in how you do it yeah and for inventory i just really think it takes the entire team to be knowledgeable about what they're doing um sorry all your stuff's falling apart over there Kiefer. jeez is it, is it politically <laughs> or correct to say our media team slacking <laughs> Okay, that's well, good. That's yeah, just roll with it. I don't know how to fix it. So. <laughs> if you're just listening, this that sounds like a lot of dead time, but if you're watching, you'll see what's going on. <laughs> this is IT issue. <laughs> we'll leave it to Kiefer. Um, rabbit hole. Rabbit hole. Yeah. Always the rabbit hole. Um, but yeah, inventory really takes a team, um, takes some team morale trying to get there, get it done make sure it's right, make sure the internal team has all the pieces they need to put the puzzle together. And it's, I think whenever you're explaining to your team, whatever industry that might be, the importance, then I think it's it's good to go in <laughs> specifically to each department and kind of give them an example. So um, for, for ground, for our fulfillment, you're not going to be able to fulfill this and you're going to have a lot of labels that you just have stacked up, which then falls back on you because if those labels get lost because you couldn't fulfill it, yes. then it's, you know, it's kind of on you that you didn't let anybody know. For the sales team, 
you can't sell anything that we don't have. So we want to know, we want to know specifically, what do we have that we can look in our system and say, uh, I, I have 10 of these, I can sell you 10 a day. And that be accurate and not just make the sale and then just be like, oh crap. We, we actually didn't have any of these or we had three of these and you're having to follow up all these calls, you know, for internal teams, um, accounting, especially it's important, but just to go through each of your, uh, departments and let them know, give them an example of like, why is this important? So that they know, how's that going to affect them? How's it going to blow back on them if this isn't right? Or if you like jacked off for the day and didn't, mm -hmm. that was bad. <laughs> mean that I mean, horse around not <laughs> just disregard altogether <laughs> sorry Cut. you need a thing that's why oh my gosh yeah well, yeah jacking off <laughs> okay um how do we even get back from that oh my gosh know. you don't <laughs> Jumping back to inventory, I want to give a little story of where we started and where we've ended here. Oh, yeah. Good call. Um, so where we started, what, three years ago was yeah. we would print every order that came in. We would give it to the fulfillment team. They would package it. They would give us the paper back. We would print the label. We would give them the label. And then we spend two hours trying to figure out what box what went boxes. to what label. And that was a mess. So then we transformed into printing a label. Um, having the packing slip, pick packing and shipping all in one swoop, which is better until we don't have something. Um, and in and, and our business model, if we don't have it today, doesn't mean we can't have it tomorrow. Right. It just means that we don't currently have it in inventory right now. But then the question lies, why did it get printed? Where is the inventory? And so then your back end team really has to figure that out. Um, our next step is to have a whole pick pack ship team and then they can print the label yes yeah, that's our goal ready to go out so um we're getting there we're progressing and we're constantly moving the needle yeah um, for sure we're, we're working hard at it um also let's just talk about the the elephant that it is in every room as far as uh the industries are right now is the lack uh, we've kind of hit on it before but um access to inventory right. um it's kind of like across the board, no matter where you are. I mean, grocery stores have yep. a lack of inventory sometimes and you're so frustrated with it. But, you know, that domino effect, I feel like, you know, I wish sometimes we could tell our customers, like, we are trying so hard to get you what you need because that's our number one priority always. But sometimes our hands are tied. Mm. And um, just like whenever you go to the grocery store and you need a loaf of bread and there's none on the shelf, it sucks. But um, just know that we are always trying to get you what you need and we're going to go the extra mile to make sure that we can get that to you to get you back on the road. Right. So action items from this is if you have anything to do with inventory and your job is to just get with your team, make sure your inventory counts right, make sure you're knowledgeable about your SKUs. Yeah, make a um, plan on how you're going to accomplish that day. Yep. I feel like a good plan before that day is is good um, for like your leadership team to figure out so that whenever you get there, you're not just like, okay, let's go count the yard, yep. you know. And, sure. and what else did you have? Sorry, I jumped in there. Three for sure's for me this yeah. time. So. Um, no, really, that was about it. And just make sure your back end team is on board and they have the correct numbers that you give them. So yep, and then figure out the rest as you go. And there, there's always going to be struggles. I feel yes. like you're not going to ever get it perfect. If you do, please tell us how because yes. we want to know. I would love it. <laughs> please send us a note, a comment. Yes, something. So. Uh, well, that's it for today. Uh, we enjoyed talking to you, and As we'll always. see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.